Hello, hello! Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to take a trip down memory lane and discuss and explain how I fell in love with the twins and what I find enjoyable about them. Before we do jump in though, I just want to say do consider subscribing if you do like my content here. We are getting closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers and it would mean a lot to me. Also I am streaming 5 days a week on Twitch if you haven't followed me there already. With my little cheeky shout out done, hope you enjoy the video. So let's start from the beginning. I started playing Dead by Daylight in July of 2018, around the time that The Clown came out. I was maining Survivor majority of the time and playing Killer here and there. I started making content about the game in November of 2018 and played both sides until the end of 2020 when a killer was revealed, the twins. I sadly don't have any footage of me playing on their PTB, but from memory I played with friends and didn't think too much of the killer. I thought kicking Victor was hilarious though. And I thought the power was interesting, but it didn't catch my attention too much. Some of you may have heard about the Twins release being one of the buggiest ever, which made playing versus them very rare and playing as them very frustrating. One of the most common bugs was Victor would get stuck in the ground and you would release him, so you had to wait 90 seconds for him to die. However, one of their bugs was actually the reason I fell in love with them. That bug was their Adept. I wanted to 100% the game, and the only achievement I was missing was the Twins Adept. So I kept playing them to get it, but it was bugged. I kept trying and trying to get this achievement and it wouldn't give it to me. This forced me to play twins and at first I found them a bit frustrating and difficult. But after a few matches I started to notice and learn some tricks I could do with Victor. In the end the bug was fixed, but I still continued to play twins and had fun controlling Victor and learning. I didn't call myself a twins main yet though. I continued to play other killers and survivor, but I kept going back to twins without even thinking about it. This was until something happened. I got my first ever snipe with Victor. Then I got another, and another. And with that, I finally started to call myself a Twins main. I was hesitant at first as Twins had a terrible reputation and generally was disliked in the community, but Victor was so satisfying to hit snipes with. I never experienced so much adrenaline and joy playing this game before. This was also before the five second nerfs to Victor's down cooldown. So when he downed people, it would take 3 seconds, so it felt a lot smoother and quicker. He was also not affected by Dead Hard at all, so I never had to bait out a Dead Hard with him. This was fixed after some time, I sadly couldn't find the patch notes of exactly when though. It's now April of 2021. I've been maining twins for a couple of months now and still enjoying them. I met a new friend and streamer called Running Man, and he actually told me he held the world record for the fastest 4k and twins in the world. I was shocked as I didn't even know this was a thing. I had had a few quick 4Ks on Twins before but I never even thought to submit them or save them. Then 20 days after Running Man got the world record, I ended up beating it out 3 minutes and 19 seconds. This was very exciting for me as I'd never held a world record before. I held this record for around 2 months when it got beaten in June with a Starstruck build. So I copied the build and played every evening to attempt to beat the record again. After over a month of attempts, I beat the world record and to this day it still remains as the fastest in the world. I do want to try and beat it again, but with the introduction of MMR it's a lot more rare to get super quick 4Ks, as survivors are more consistently good now. One day I do hope to beat it though. Now that I've explained what first got me into the twins and ended up making me main them, I want to talk about what about their gameplay I find fun and interesting. Let's start with of course the best boy, Victor. I love how fast a mobile Victor is. Killers are faster than survivors, sure, but Victor runs at 150% with our add-ons compared to Charlotte's 115% movement speed. It feels so satisfying going around the map as him and cutting off survivors quickly in chase. When I play Charlotte, if I see a Jane explode or a survivor, I can simply send Victor and make him do it instead. While on other killers, I usually don't want to risk running over there or have something else to do closer to me. However, with Victor, he's so quick and without a terror radius, survivors don't see him coming. Another thing I love about Victor is of course sniping. He can go over windows and pallets very consistently and they always feel very satisfying to hit. But I also like traversing with his pounce, jumping over obstacles to save travel time. I'm still to this day finding new things he can bounce from or over to. It never gets old for me. Next up is their snowballing ability. Twins can turn a game around in a second, but it goes both ways. You can also lose all your pressure in a second. This can be super exciting, but also scary. With the use of Victor, you can pressure so many areas at once. 
If the whole team is injured, you have the chance to win at any point if the team is out of position. And that opportunity to four man down opens up. It of course isn't that simple though. If you take too long connecting slugs, or they are too far apart, they can easily get back up or turn in a long back and forth of getting up and down. There's so many matches I've had where I didn't believe I could win, but with Victor's crazy snowball, I put so much pressure on survivors so quickly, they can't come back, and that feels super rewarding. Another thing I really like is Victor's tracking potential. As you may know, Victor gives off killer instinct when idle. However, he also gives off killer instinct when attached to a survivor. If you attach and do not hit any heartbeats, then you know there's nobody in that area except from the Victor guy. However, if you hear two heartbeats, you now know where three people are. This is very useful when the Victor guy holds him for over 30 seconds. After this time where you can recall Victor, you can see Victor's aura at all times. If that survivor is running around, you'll know areas where there are no survivors at all. On a map like Midwich, this can be insanely strong. It's also really fun to sneak up on the person holding Victor and scare them around the corner as they can't hear any terror radius while he is attached. I also like to use Victor to protect an area or check an area. Let's say there is a downed survivor by a pallet, well I can release Victor to check the surrounding area if there's anybody nearby. The only way I won't be able to detect them is if they are crouching, which very rarely happens. It's also useful if I see scratch marks fading in an area, say by a generator. I can get Victor out and idle him to see if he will find that survivor. And if he doesn't, he can now guard that generator. I also really love setting traps with Victor and cutting people off with him. It feels very satisfying to have a play like that work out. Let's say I see a survivor running towards my idle Victor. I'll calculate which way to turn before switching to him, then immediately turn that way and cut them off. People don't expect it at all. For the example of traps though, let's say I hook a survivor, I can leave Victor on a hill by them, and then if I see a survivor running that way later on, I can switch and catch them before they can save. You could also do this by having Victor downstairs on the game and lead a survivor you're chasing that way, and if they fall down you can switch and cut them off. To summarise though, twins are challenging, they require a lot of focus and planning, one misplay can make you lose all your pressure in a second. But that can also happen if a survivor fails to kick Victor after downing and then you snowball. It can be stressful but also keeps them very exciting. I feel it's also hard to quote unquote bully a twins as you can use Victor to zone survivors or deny them flashlight saves as you attach on them with Victor. I have so many options and decisions with twins in comparison to other killers, which in turn makes them hard to master as there's so many tricks and plays you can do. When I play other killers I mainly think about gens and hooks, while with twins there is always the question of what should Victor do? He should always be pressuring either an area or a survivor. It's been about two years now since I've started maining them. I still enjoy them, and yes, the switching time will always frustrate me with how long it takes, but the insane snowball potential of Victor and getting snipes makes up for this. I would say the worst time to play as twins for me was when Circle of Healing first came out, with a 100% healing bonus, and old Dead Hard was in the game. With the current meta, it can be tough as Circle of Healing and Med Kits are very common, and Endurance is also very common with Off the Record and Dead Hard being meta. Twins aren't weak but they just get very heavily counted by certain items and perks. But with good enough predictions and snipes, you can come back in most games. I want to be excited for the Twins rework that has been confirmed to still be coming. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video discussing what I think Vibhaver should do to change the Twins. I think the only thing that would truly make me stop playing Twins is if the rework completely destroys what makes the Twins the Twins. We'll have to wait and see though. This is just my views and thoughts. Let me know what you enjoy about the Twins and would like to see changed in a rework. And as always, happy pouncing! Pop, pop,